Uh huh. You shot me with none, huh? <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? All right, guys. Just wanted to show you a six-hour, and this is the model two two eight in nine millimeter only. Um, I've done a lot of reading. Um, haven't had this gun long, but I wanted to kind of know what I was talking about before I went on with it, and I still don't know everything. These guns have a lot of history, especially these German six hours. Um, this particular six hour was made in Germany, frame and slide, and it is West German marked. And I kind of thought to myself, um, it says West Germany right there. I kind of thought to myself, well, West and East Germany were split up after I think ninety or eighty nine or something like that. But what the case was, these pistols were started being made in eighty eight. Um, and a lot because of the conflict, they had so much inventory that already said made in West Germany. Um, this pistol um, has been used all over the world in different military um, conflicts. Um, Israel still has a bunch of them. The Swiss have a boatload of them. Um, it was used by the U.S. Secret Service until um, the newer 229 and 357 SIG replaced it. Um, and the U.S. designation for it is the M11. And just like the 229, um, it's very, very similar to the 229. Um, has the rounded trigger guard like the older 229s. No rail. Kind of nice looking. Um, double action, single action. Use the same rounds as the 229 as long as they're 9mm. These are 13 rounders that they came with the gun. Um, this one is all numbers matching. Um, not like it's going to affect the value, but the, the slide, the barrel, and the frame are all serialized. Um, according to the serial number on this gun, I don't, I hardly kind of doubt it. Because there's really, you look at it, there's a little bit of wear right there. There might be a little bit of wear on the decocker. Um, according to the serial number... This pistol was either owned by the Israeli or the Swiss Army, um, but, and I've double checked that over a couple different websites, but, I mean, the pistol looks so good, it's hard to see that it could have been used. Um, the cool thing about these uh, German SIGs is, as everybody knows, Germany loves to proof mark everything. In SIG Sauer, um, used to use a proof house called the Kiel Proof House. Plant. Um, and I want to say that's in Kiel, Germany. And it looks like a little roach up here. I'm not, you're not going to be able to see it. And under the roach, you have an N with another little symbol. And that's called the, well, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, it's called the Bunsadler. And it has an N over it, mean, meaning nitro or smokeless. And for the six hour to have their guns proofed, um, from what I understand, they were shot three times with 30% hotter loads. And that's how they proofed it. So they did that. But uh, this SIG is in really, really good shape. Um, unlike uh, the 229, I should point out that the 228 model has a stamped slide versus the milled stainless slide. Um, so if that should deter anybody. Um, I've heard people shoot these things thousands of rounds just like the P6. And I should also point out, like the P6, because it has a stamped slide, it also has the the breech block and a van from Guns and Gear pointed out that you got to be careful if that breech block were to ever get loose you could have some problems but uh, I'll go ahead and take the gun down real quick just to show you the um, the shape of the internals which are pretty good as well um, not a whole heck of a lot of wear um, very very little and the gun, really, I haven't got a chance to shoot it yet, but the gun seems pretty sound. It's got a real, real good trigger on it. Um, what's interesting, these, uh, these are the original magazines, and they are, it says J.P. Sauer and Son, 9mm Parabellum, Germany. And of course, because it was back in Clinton's days, it says restricted law enforcement, government use only. 
So this is one of those uh, SIGs that you, if you like SIG, this is probably one you ought to have because um, I know there's a lot of them for sale on, on Guns America right now for about 500 bucks, um, but they're in a lot worse shape than this. Um, one thing I didn't find out yet is I want to say that the originals came with the uh, bar dot, but this one actually has three dot tritium night sights, and I want to say that they are the newer SIG style. SIG style, uh, like on the 229s. So that's what this gun has. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything that I've read other than I'm really excited to have it. Um, being as if you got a 229 you need the 228 I think. More importantly if you have the P6 you have to have the 228 because they're made very very close close and um, hope you all enjoyed it. I'm pretty happy about it. I know some of you guys wanted to see it. The West German Sig Sauer model 228 and I I don't know if I pointed out, but the 228s were only in 9mm only. Only until 1991 did they produce the 229 and 40 for a while, and then they branched out to 357 and 9mm. So, there it is the Sig Sauer 229, or I'm sorry, 228 9mm. Thanks for watching.